what I'm doing. So just on our way home from dinner, we're about a few miles from home and uh, coming off the highway, I kind of gunned it a little bit um, to get into the right lane and uh, start car started limping really bad, gave me some codes, went into limp mode, would not idle. Um, so we were able to get home, pulled in the driveway, boom. Uh, so cleaned the mass airflow sensor, checked my charge pipe, my uh, the cold side of everything, and uh, went underneath. I'm going to start looking at vacuum hoses or anything down there near the turbo, off the turbo, blow up valve, uh, bypass valve, rather. And uh, so stay tuned. This is interesting. See how this goes. All right, day two, um, it was getting kind of late and I was exhausted, uh, so we stopped, troubleshot as much as I could up here. So what I'm gonna do is take the engine cover off, do a quick inspection of all tubes and hoses on the front end of uh, the manifold. And then uh, if I can't find anything, um, I'll have to take the intercooler off and look back there. The way it acted was like a I lost a vacuum hose somewhere um, because it would operate at certain RPMs just fine. It's just coming back down to idle. So whatever controls um, the uh, air and fuel mixture at idle or timing at idle or something like that. So sounds to me like uh, I lost a hose somewhere. So we'll see. I'll keep you informed. If I learn anything new... Uh, I'll let you guys know. I did see a, an interesting video last night. Um, the guy had some trouble on, at idle, but he was at least able to idle, but it was really rough. And uh, so he sprayed little bits of uh, brake cleaner on uh, where his hoses were connected and uh, the, the car would act differently when he got to the... Um, looked like he was down there in his uh, bypass valve hose was disconnected so that's how he found it so I'll I'll try to get the car running and and shoot some stuff here and there and and uh see if that helps at all but I want to do some more visual so I'm gonna get this engine cover off all right so my wife helped me um we got some throttle body cleaner and sprayed in some spots where there's a lot of um hose interaction got a lot of vacuum systems in here so Sprayed down there, didn't seem to do anything, and it's so rough that I really can't even get it to idle. Um, we sprayed down there in the intake, the turbo inlet. Sprayed uh, the front sections here of the uh, intake manifold, down by the throttle body, and then over here. This is the only location that we got, seemed to might be a little change happened. Uh, it seemed like the RPMs kicked up a little bit. So, just one little tip here too is when you're doing anything new, it's probably when you're gonna trace back uh, where you popped something off or something was wear, wear, wearing down and you kind of took it over the edge. So, what I'm predicting is that when I rerouted these hoses, I might have knocked something off loose or cracked it or um, at the same time, I did take the intercooler off, and um, I'm going to look under there too. So I, I think there's something down in here that we knocked loose. I don't think it's a sensor. It's got to be a hose. So we're getting there. All right, I think I found it. The issue. So if you see that hose barb there coming off the intake manifold, uh, that shouldn't be open. So I plugged that when I installed my air oil separator. If you see the PCV valve uh, down there, where is it? It's so hard to move the camera around. Anyways, um, I capped that, but because I have more boost, a uh, little more boost going into here, and it's just over time, um, that little plug weakened. So I'm going to make a new one and I'm going to double, I'm going to try to look for a, an actual clamp. I probably used <clears throat> a zip tie. So let me make a little plug piece for that. 
I'll show you what I <clears throat> what that ended up looking like and then uh, put this thing back together and then do a little summary of what I went through. So I just got done uh, driving it around the block. We drove it a couple miles, and uh, things running great. I, since I had the intercooler off again, I sprayed some throttle body cleaner in there, wiped it out a few times, got a lot of junk out of there. Um, so it's idling even smoother than it was before. So the troubleshooting, like um, you saw, basically got it running at a certain RPM where I had enough fuel flowing into the um, engine that the all that air coming into the manifold would kind of sustain the engine for a little bit. And then uh, my wife sprayed um, certain areas down into the inlet, turbo inlet, uh, the front left and right uh, passenger and driver side of the intake manifold and then in the back when she sprayed up here in this section, uh, we, we noticed a little bit, uh, the RPMs went up a couple thousand, which was, you know, re repeated it just to make sure, and it, and it did. It was the only section that did anything. So went ahead and took off the intercooler, found that the, uh, the tube that went from the PCV valve to the intake manifold, uh, there was a plug on there uh, that um, you installed when I put in the air oil separator years ago um, and that had popped off when we got off the freeway last night so glad I found that but basically um, you know I did go through all the troubleshooting there's a lot in that system code P0171 uh, it, it's running too lean uh, could be injector could be fuel delivery uh, vacuum leak it could be clogged system you know an injector or something there's a good number of things you could have an open some sort of blown intake or charge pipe somewhere so trouble I actually cleaned every uh, my mass airflow and manifold absolute pressure man um, sensor there and I remember um, if you run it with it ran about the same as not having that sensor in. So I figured I'd come up here eventually um, because it was basically all cylinders were misfiring. So it was some large system failure, in other words, a blown tube. So um, appreciate you guys that are out there um, posting videos of your troubleshooting and because you know, we all go through the same thing, so that's the, the great thing about the car community and, you know, maybe any enthusiast um, type um, genre. So this is my contribution. A um, couple good things that happened is I learned a little bit more about the, you know, the intake system and how delicate that is. Uh, did find a way to get my passenger side nut and bolt off of the mount for the intercooler without having to go underneath so that was a bonus and then cleaning the throttle body something i was going to do last time but i forgot so excellent all around i probably saved uh hundreds and hundreds of dollars they probably the dealer would have probably by troubleshooting would have replaced everything in this system which you know would have been probably o2 sensors uh, MAF sensor, MAP sensor, probably would have gone through an injector or at least, um, you know, it, going through more labor, to, you know, checking the voltage on them, etc. <clears throat> so, and I can only imagine what that costs. So, you know, don't be afraid to, to work on your car, save a lot of money. You know, if you get stuck, send, you know, go to a deal or, or a reputable shop. Um, but if you can do it yourself safely and, you know, just keep digging. So 
Thanks again to all you guys uh, that contributed to my education in the last couple days. And thank you all for watching. God bless you guys. Have a great Sunday.